global health is really defined by a commitment to social justice and health equity. It's about identifying areas where we don't have health equity and trying to really understand the, the basis of those health inequities and take interdisciplinary approaches to solve those problems. We have students from all walks of life. We have partnerships all around the world who are all bringing their unique approaches and strengths and skills to define the problems, define the approaches, and then tackle them together. Global health means seeking an end to poverty and disease in the world. And that is a battle that we're winning. I'm a pediatric surgeon. There's disease entities that we absolutely know how to fix, but there's a huge population in the world that doesn't have access to that solution. When I first started going to Uganda about five years ago, there was one pediatric surgeon in the entire country. And the country has 39 million people. I'm trying to empower my colleagues in Uganda to be able to think of ways to fix their own system. We've developed a fellowship program, so we're training more pediatric surgeons. The vision I would like to achieve is that in my lifetime, every kid in Africa has access to surgery if they need it. That's a pretty big vision. Duke Global Health was a major factor in my decision to come to Duke. I originally went to Madagascar to study the lemurs and other wildlife. You also get to know the people and you understand the kinds of health challenges that they face. We also realized that people had a number of respiratory problems and reasoned that's due to the cooking practices they have. They cook over an open flame, over wood, creating very smoky environments. You have to be aware of those cultural preferences and work carefully to understand what would be some alternatives that would maintain that history while also being healthier for the people. It drives us to pursue the work to the next level so that we can truly understand the choices that people are making, right? And the impacts of those choices on health. I'm working on women's cancers, in particular breast and cervical cancer. I was in Tanzania speaking to a physician about cervical cancer screening. What the physician told me was that women didn't like the speculum. That inspired us to think about how we can use engineering, innovation, passion, and a great group of students to work together on this particular technology, the speculum free colposcope, so that a woman can do her own self-exam. The core here is empowerment, whether it's empowering health providers, empowering women in their reproductive health, or empowering students to empower others. You have to really believe fundamentally that you can make a change in the world to do this work. Technology is becoming not just a way to reach uh, hard to reach populations, I think it's becoming the primary, the best, the most effective way to do it. What we've been doing is to create digital treatments for obesity. We've tested our approach in, in China as one example, and you find it works to improve their total health. What unifies the people here is an interest in finding out what works and being able to share what works with other people, other populations all over the world. Well, certainly we do do a lot of international work in global health, it's certainly not just about geography. There are health disparities uh, in the richest countries in the world, including the United States. We can do global health anywhere, including right here at home. It's easier to imagine a group of people living across the globe having a set of very different problems. A lot of the same problems are, are right in our communities. Global health is where I felt most at home. I work with refugee children here in Durham County. The problems that we see are beyond medical. They're often psychological behavior problems, developmental regression. I have the opportunity to study these issues from an academic standpoint and also bring in student learners so they can experience some of the issues. One thing students came up with is um, 
a resource guide for refugee families. Those types of direct application solutions were incredibly helpful with the most common problems that the refugee parents dealt with in relation to their children. The needs are, are what motivate me. I'm able to give a voice to these children who have been forced to flee from their homes. We're creating solutions to the world's toughest problems. The Duke Global Health Institute is a community of people who are really fundamentally interested in making the world a better place. Trying to figure out, with the very best tools available to us, how do we make a change? How do we make that change durable? Then how do we disseminate that to other parts of the world where it might be needed? We're really driven by what is the vision, what are the priorities, what are the needs of our partners. We're really hoping to discover something, to test something, to validate something, and really find out how we can take our research and get it into practice where uh, it can help not just the people who are participating in the research, but millions of people internationally, including right here at home.